I remember I said last week after the Rutgers game, we need to see the Buckeyes play even better against Maryland, and they did significantly. Ohio State was fantastic. The defense looked good. There were a couple drives there. They, they were giving up a lot of yards, but a defensive touchdown. Chris Young had that pick six just now. Of course, if you're all coming in here watching the game, you obviously just saw that. Yeah, here's the defense. Uh, they've allowed 17 points, 33 rushing yards, and have gotten five sacks in today's game, whereas they had only 12 sacks in their last three. So probably the best performance defensively for Ohio State this season against good competition. We'll get more people uh, siphoning in here as we uh, continue to talk about this. We're just waiting for the game to officially end. This is the live score right now, uh, in case you haven't seen it. Got some discussion topics to get into, but, I mean, let's face it. The day was ruled not just by the great defensive play, but by the offense, who was unbelievable again. The offense was amazing, even better than they were last week. I mean, C.J. Stroud, once again, just phenomenal in the passing game, completing all those throws over his stats. 406 passing yards for five touchdowns, 24 of 33 completion rate. That is remarkable. Longest Big Ten Conference home winning streak. Ohio State's now at 21. They are one shy of tying Michigan for the most. Longest Big Ten Conference winning streaks. Now they're up to 20. 20 straight Big Ten Conference wins for the Ohio State Buckeyes. That is amazing. That is unbelievable. But we're getting close here to the final whistle. It's third and six. Maryland is not even using any of their timeouts. They're just letting the clock run out. And then we can get into all the conversations. I want to talk about how good C.J. Stroud continues to be. I want to talk about Chris Olave and Garrett Wilson. Is this the best one-two wide receiver duo we've ever seen for the Buckeyes? Chris Olave specifically. Can we start discussing him being the best wide receiver in Ohio State history? Can we? It's possible. He had an amazing day today. The receivers look great. Travion Henderson, again, is a monster. Everything is coming up Millhouse for Ohio State right now, and it's only getting better because other teams might be losing. So I think this game is pretty much over. Ryan Day is taking his headset off. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Oklahoma and Texas just to kind of see how that game's going to go on. Did uh, – Tia Malua played today. Didn't see him much on the field. Um, I can check that for you. Defense looked good, but we still have to uh, have work to do. The game has been over since the second quarter. It has. You are right. Welcome, everyone, into the show. Another Ohio State game where it was over by the second quarter. Uh, let me see if JT played. Um, I want to see if there's a way that I can find specific defensive stats. That's always a difficult defense here. I got it on defense. Uh, he did play one tackle, one sack for JT, so he did play. Chenny, get that answer there. All right, the game's final. It's over. Ohio State wins 66-17. to 17. Just JT, not JTTT. Yeah, I know it's just JT. Yeah, he played. So great game for Ohio State. C.J. Stroud looked better than he did against Rutgers. The offense looked better than they did against Rutgers. The defense looked the best it's been, but – you know, it's Maryland. Sure, Maryland was 4-1 and one coming to Columbus today, but uh, who 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 we beaten? Who did Maryland beat before coming to Ohio State? They beat West Virginia, Howard, Illinois, and Kent State, and then got obliterated by Iowa before coming here, and then they got obliterated by Ohio State. So Maryland, yes, might not be the toughest competition, but just like the Rutgers game, we're looking at execution. Defensive execution, I think, was the best we've seen the Buckeyes have uh, all season. Some stats came up. You know, they only had 12 sacks in their in their last three games, five sacks today, a defensive touchdown, a late pick six from Chris Young to get the score into the 60s for Ohio State. You know, just increasing your point total, increasing your defend your point difference, huge for Ohio State. Keeps the momentum going in their favor. And if Oklahoma lose this game against Texas, it's going to be even further in their favor. 